And now weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. It's been an active morning here with locally heavy rain and lots of lightning. This is a shot on I-44. You can see the heavy rain making conditions pretty hard to see. And then look at that lightning. Uh, we've had multiple lightning strikes uh, this morning. Yesterday, some lightning strikes actually hit home. So hazardous weather today. If we take a look at the radar, uh, you can see we do have lots of locally heavy rain and lightning. We've got a couple of warnings in effect. A severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Greene County it does include the north side of Springfield for quarter size hail there. We also have a flash flood warning that was just added uh, for Christian Green and Lawrence and Stone Counties. Three inches of rain has already fallen in the Springfield area and uh, we'll likely see more. So we could see some flash flooding conditions expected pretty shortly. We also continue a flash flood warning until 11:15 this morning up around Bolivar and Walnut Grove. Three inches of rain down there too. And the same story for Barton, Cherokee, Crawford, and Jasper counties. Three inches of rain fell very quickly. Flash flooding conditions expected there too. Aerial flood advisory up around Vernon, two inches of rain fell in 45 minutes. That's how heavy this rain is and how efficient it is as just dropping this uh, rain very quickly. You can see lots of lightning and that locally heavy rain here getting into uh, the Ozarks this midday. A look at the lightning strike count is increasing. Uh, it's about 500 right now, but I've seen this number over 700 so far this midday. So uh, again, lightning is hazardous. You want to get in. Inside. Uh, we're looking at that heavy rain here uh, on the radar. This is some of the totals from today. Again, we're talking about two to three inch totals already. This is some of the rain that happened yesterday. Uh, so we already got saturated grounds in spots, and that can make these flooding conditions even worse. So, flash flood watch in effect and has been expanded east. It has been expanded until five o'clock as well. Uh, we'll have these uh, very heavy rain uh, conditions with some uh, ponding possible on the grounds, uh, some road. Ways could be covered, so you want to be careful. In the event of standing water, turn around, don't drown. Never drive through a flooded roadway. Never walk, swim, or play in flood water. It could be hard to see what's in there, and that could be very dangerous. Uh, the setup that we've got going on here is we've got this front drape to the south, this upper level storm that's bringing in uh, the storms that we're seeing right now. And the two are going to kind of do a dance today, and that's what's going to continue to bring us this storm threat through the afternoon. The issue with the heavy rain is the atmosphere is soaked and sad. Saturated. Think about a sponge when you're washing the dishes. It's just soaked with water, and the atmosphere is just squeezing out all that it can, which is why we're seeing these rainfall rates at two inches an hour, uh, if not more than that. We also have this instability or this food for storms growing, and that can leave us with a, a threat to see these storms organize a little bit better as we head through the afternoon. So for that, we have a slight risk for severe weather added here in the yellow. In the yellow, we could see these storms organize into a little bit more of a line, and that's where we'll have a damaging wind threat on top of the heavy rain threat as we head through the afternoon. So what we're again, we're tracking here today, very, very low tornado threat, concern for 60 mile per hour winds, hail maybe to quarter or half dollar size, and then uh, that flooding threat, of course, we've seen that uh, come through as we had through uh, the morning already. These storms pushing to the east, if they form into a line, that's where we'll have that damaging wind threat. Notice the temperatures uh, around 80 degrees on the cool side, and of course the heavy rain in those reds and oranges there. Uh, these storms exit to the south and east by about 6, 7, 8 o'clock. We should be drier this evening and the, through the overnight, and then by tomorrow we'll keep an isolated storm chance up to the north. The rest of us stay dry with temperatures warmer in the middle and upper 80s. After today, storm chances turn much isolated through the holiday weekend. Most of us will wind up staying dry. 80 degrees today, scattered showers and storms with heavy rain. 71 overnight, a lingering shower possible. And by tomorrow, we'll keep a storm chance mainly to the north with a mix of sun and clouds. An isolated storm chance hangs around through the weekend.